with CGC TV, and I'm here interviewing the incredible, talented Mr. Rich Guzzi. Yep, got it right. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, um, can you tell me a little bit about the show? Well, basically what happens is I bring 40 of volunteers on the stage, we hypnotize them, and then uh, make them uh, do some crazy stuff by putting them in precarious situations. Okay, how long have you been doing this? Uh, about 30 years now as a comedian. Oh, wow. What gets you interested in doing this? Um, I guess uh, I actually saw somebody else's show a long time ago, mm -hmm. and it looked, seemed kind of interesting to me, but then I kind of thought I was a regular comedian first. Okay. Um, where I would just do regular stand-up, I would tell jokes and stories about my life and stuff of that nature. Then um, later on, I guess, what happened was, I kind of, kind of almost got like dared into doing it. You know, kind of just like fell into my lap, kind of, they said, you know, hey, you're going to do this hypnotizing show? So they offered me to do it, and for like a lot of money. Oh, okay. So I only had like six weeks to prepare, so I read a book, and I went to a hypnotizing class, oh, wow. and then after I read the book and took the class, I said, man, I'm in trouble, because there's no way I'm going to be able to make this happen. <laughs> um, I, was in, I was in real deep water. So um, I started practicing like crazy, and somehow I pulled it off. And then after I did it, uh, I guess people like really embraced it, and my career took off because of it, because I was helping a lot of people at the same time. Because I would do the show, and then people like their lives got tr you know transformed, where they quit smoking, they lost weight, their lives became better because of it, and all of a sudden, I said, "Man, I think I'm really onto something here." So it's more than just a comedy show; it became more like a self-help comedy show, oh, okay. motivational type thing. Do you remember the name of the book? <laughs> actually, I, I don't. It was um, it was uh, although the Indian's kind of hypnosis was um one of the first books I read. Okay. So uh. <laughs> okay. How often well, do you do your shows? How often do you do your shows? Uh, I do about 300 shows a year. Oh, wow. I knock them all out in about 200 days. Oh, okay. So this is all over the country? Well, yeah, but I mean, pretty much all over the world now. Oh, wow. Because uh, we do a lot of cruise ships. They take us you know, all over the planet. So it's kind of cool. Where's your favorite place you've been so far? Oh, uh, Rome. Oh, wow. I have to see, yeah, last year we got to go to Rome. It was a, a great trip, and we flew in five days early. So <laughs> I got like, basically like a free Reputation. vacation. Yeah, it really was outstanding. I, you know, I have a pretty good life. You know, my, my girlfriend is my assistant on the show, so we get to travel around together. So it makes things uh, pretty nice. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, she's she's very happy. That's good. She gave up her corporate job to come, you know, travel on the road with a comedian. Everybody thought she was nuts, and she's no, no, he's actually pretty good at this stuff. You know, he's actually yeah. pretty famous. You know, and then uh, it worked out. You know, obviously in everybody's favor, it turned out it turned out good. Yeah, that's the ride or die for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. It, 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 yeah, it worked out. It, everybody thought everybody we went nuts, but it worked out pretty well. Oh, that's good. Um, this is like the one story in your head that sticks out from a performance that always stuck with you. Uh, for me personally, I love hearing the success stories. Um, I'm doing a show the other night, and there's a girl in the front row, and I'm doing. I always do this good energy affirmation at the end of the show where everybody gets to participate oh. in the audience, where um so. They just saw the show, they didn't volunteer, and they said, man, I wish I would have did this now, it was pretty cool. So I said, everybody can get involved in this part. I do this good energy affirmation, everybody feels really, it's really very spiritual, very uplifting. It's a girl in the front row, and you can tell she's getting like a little emotional about, you know, the words I was saying. And then, um, so I, I talked to her, I said, you know, what, what's going on? She said, I was on your show two years ago, and after that, I lost 120 pounds, and it changed my entire life. I went back to school, I got my doctorate. Um, I got a new boyfriend, I got a whole new life, a new job, and my whole life got transformed because of being on your show. So when I see things like that happen, and I'm like, man, it's just more than just a comedy show. It's it's something where you're changing people's lives. And I, I get it, you know, you come to a comedy show, you're, you're, you're getting escapism. That's what we're selling, you know. You know, you get to, you know, forget about your crazy life for the next hour and a half and you laugh, and oh man, I saw something really awesome. But then the people who come on the stage, their lives get transformed into this like amazing thing, and they like they bring their lives to new levels. And I'm like, wow, this is just so much more than just a regular comedy show. And to me, that's what it's really all about. Wow, that's really incredible. Um, well, I just want to thank you for your time and talking with us with CGTV. It's Candace Ryder with Rich Cousin. Enjoy the show tonight. I thought it was very funny. I mean, it was it, it was so funny. I had to find time to breathe. <laughs> it, it was just excellent. It was. It was beyond my expectations, and it was, uh, like I said, it was no one was phony, and, and the crowd was just right on, and it, it was just a, 
it was a positive show too for everybody in the audience. Would you ever participate in being hypnotized? Is something you would do? I would hope I would be able to participate and hopefully get hypnotized, but I don't know if I, it would happen or not. Kind of uptight, so I don't know if it happens or not. You know. <laughs> it's very entertaining. Thank you so much for your feedback. You have a great Thank night. You. Candace Rogers, CGTV, is one of the stars of the show tonight. Uh, how do you feel afterwards? I feel good. I'm a little confused because they're telling me lots of stories and I'm excited to see. Oh yeah, you're very entertaining tonight. <laughs> very entertaining. So you feel refreshed and alive, really? That's good. Well, thank you so much. I just wanted a little feedback. Have a great night. All right, thanks. You too. <laughs> Hi, I'm Candace with CGTV. How are you feeling tonight? I feel great. A little refreshed? I do. I feel like a million bucks, actually. Oh, wow. Well, you played Beyonce. <laughs> That's what I hear. I like. I, I genuinely remember getting on stage, and then the next blink, he was like, okay, goodbye, get off. I, I don't remember anything in between. I know he hypnotized the one guy that he's going to get a boner every time you shake his hand, but that's it. <laughs> You were very entertaining. You were cussing people out. You were screaming. You were groping. You were very entertaining. <laughs> I can't wait for you to watch it. Yeah. I bought the DVD, but I, my best friend told me not to play it in front of my husband. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> Thank you so much. You have a great night. Thank you, too. Hey, this is Candice with CGTV. I'm just doing an interview here with some of the patrons of the show. How did you enjoy the show tonight? Oh, I loved it. Oh, you were in the show. It was good from oh, the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> I hear that you've been to shows six times? Six times. Last night and tonight. Oh, really? Did you ever participate in it? No, but I talked her into it. <laughs> <laughs> you think you ever will? No. No, not for you. Just entertaining? No, I like And every time I laugh just as hard as the first time. Yes, it's very entertaining. I can't wait for you to see what you did. I can't wait. They bought the video, so I can't wait to see it. Oh, you'll, you'll die laughing. <laughs> Thank you so much, and you guys have a great night. Thanks. You too. Thank you. Don't show your <laughs>